morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different today and talk about the fact that I am obviously an animal lover. You know, my whole life I've spent just pouring into animals and being around animals, but I'm also a businessman. I'm a student of business, right? So I've always thought like, if you can combine your love of something and then make it into your living and maybe even a successful living, that's an amazing thing, right? I mean, that's that's the dream of everyone is to do what you love and hopefully become very successful at it. Sometimes the problem with that when you're working with animals is that people can get a little bit confused because you're trying to make financial decisions that are gonna be successful and yet you're supposed to be an animal lover and sometimes it's a little bit harder than let's say if you ran a trucking company and you were like I'm really into trucks and I made a million dollars hauling this thing across the town you know what I mean so I get it I totally get it but the truth is is that although I see myself as a businessman a lot of my decisions quite frankly aren't very smart when it comes to business and I know that it's what I call passion projects and the Reptarium was one of those I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys when we opened up the Reptarium I didn't even know if we'd break even on the expenses let alone make our money back that we put into it. Turns out the first year was really, really successful. And now I've decided to take all of the fruits of that labor and just pour it right into another expansion. You know, sometimes talking to you guys about my plans is almost therapeutic in a way, right? Because I've got all this stuff going on in my mind and being able to share it with you guys kind of helps me. And sometimes you guys give me great advice down in the comments, so please comment down below about this. I want to take you through what it's going to actually cost to do next door. Just this wall alone, just opening up this wall so that you can walk through it is going to probably be like $10,000. In this place, oh my God, there's why, I mean, look at this, this is the loan right here. Just the flooring alone to be able to strip this off, grind it down and probably stain it or epoxy so it's really cool. Again, another probably five to seven thousand dollars to put into it. And the reason I'm telling you these numbers is just because I want you guys to understand that it's not all about the money for me as far as like trying to get rich, right? It's because I, I have this vision, right? And I always say a vision is an opportunity, right? And that opportunity is up to you to take it. So if you have a vision for something, it's your choice whether you want to follow through or you don't want to follow through. In my case, I love to follow through with things. So my vision is to one day have even a bigger zoo lots of other experiences and that's why I'm taking you through this process obviously the demolition in here tearing out all these walls and then rebuilding the walls for the snake massage as well as the birthday party room you know that's gonna cost probably another ten twelve thousand dollars then you tack on top at the electrical which is gonna have to replace a service run all the stuff so cuz we want to do it really safe that's gonna probably be another seven to ten thousand dollars and we haven't even started working on the cages yet right you know this is just the demolition and stuff like that you got plumbing you've got permits you've got all kinds of things that go into this. So in the end, I'm gonna invest probably 40 or $50,000 before we even start talking about adding an animal. that I want to do a centerpiece, you know, kind of like Bowser, right? But for an anaconda, some really cool, like, rainforesty type thing. You know, Bowser's enclosure alone is like $12,000. I mean, this stuff isn't cheap. And, and again, I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you that, you know, sometimes even if I'm a businessman, I'm doing silly things like spending tons of money. I mean, Lucy's cage over here is a huge cage. I mean, I, I think we ended up paying about ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 for this. And actually, I was told by a zookeeper that this cage would have cost like forty or $50,000 if a zoo was buying. It. So it's really wild, right? You gotta remember, we're doing a lot of different things at the new expansion. Like, you know, these cages are actually back loaded or something like that. You get behind them. Well, the fact that we only have one center out, we're doing back to back glass cages. So you can see right through more glass equals more work. So we're actually heading down to Universal Rocks probably in about two or maybe three weeks, something like that, and starting to build. I have no idea how much this is gonna cost, but I know it's not gonna be cheap because we're doing that big display. We're gonna do a whole bank of big cages. We're doing that tree mop. 
monitor thing, a whole bunch of other stuff. It's gonna be really expensive and probably uh, more than I wanna spend to be quite frankly, but I want it to be amazing. So I'm willing to kind of do what I think is not a smart business decision because I am just excited to have it. And speaking of monitors, actually I am excited about the tree monitors, but I was down at my buddy Forrest obviously, and he told us something really amazing about an animal that we can add to the reptarium when the expansion is done. But I really wanna tell Bruce and Jessica about this. So let's go find them and spring the news to them. Bruce and Jessica, I've got something I gotta tell you. What up? Okay. So you know I went to Forrest yesterday, uh -huh. and guess what Forrest wants to do? Take a guess. Uh... He wants to give us a yearling croc monitor. What? to work with at the reptarium. Oh my God. He said that you guys would be able to tame it. So so what do you guys think? I, I, uh, I'll take it on. Let's do it. <laughs> you ready yeah. for the yes. challenge? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's the, sec the, the yearling. Is it the one they wouldn't pull out for yeah, us? Yeah, it's the one they wouldn't pull out for <laughs> us. He said it is a little bit crazy, he said, but he's happy to give it up, put it up here. You guys want to do it? Yeah, yes. let's do it. Okay, let's cool. Let's All right, you guys let's excited? Do it. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right we'll keep going. All right, so we're going to do it. All right, cool. Excellent. If you, if you didn't work here and you won the lottery, but you weren't getting not enough money to, to survive the rest of your life. Yeah, like So you, you won like five million. And you had to put it into something to keep the money coming, what would you put the money into? Oh, uh, I'd buy a huge, huge property in Florida and I would probably basically make my own versus reptarium except you know, it's just for me. Yeah. And uh and then I would basically uh sort of have some way to make income happen through that maybe through merch or maybe do even like uh, i wouldn't do a youtube channel but maybe hire another guy like brian <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. perfect i love it yeah, no, so so what you're saying is that you would take the thing that you love and you would turn it into some way to make money so you can no enjoy doubt. your life guys uh did you see this ice icicle there giant how, how could can, you not can you get it down can you guys can you take the shovel and you try to catch it you like you do like, you open your mouth you whack and i'll catch open your okay, mouth do it. and just try to catch it with your mouth all right <laughs> Like the sword swallowers, right? Yeah. yeah okay, that's let's right. do it. Let's do it. Are right, you gotta hit it high enough so you don't mess it up? Don't get, watch wait, electrical, get closer, the electrical. Get closer. You gotta get gotta no, catch I, it. No, I'm scared though. You gotta catch it. Easy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Keep going, keep going. Oh harder. My god. Harder. Oh, dude. Oh you broke it, but that's okay. It's oh, oh be careful. Keep it it's on the electrical. <laughs> no, it's gonna knock the whole thing down, dude. What? Watch oh, it! Oh, I I You're caught supposed it. to catch it! I caught it! Oh my gosh! What the heck, what dude? dude? That was a crazy icicle, though, right? Dude, that it was, thing, it was one solid piece! It was have, all you guys, one piece. have you guys heard the, the whole... I don't know if this is an urban legend, but you take an icicle, and you stab go, someone oh in the God. heart, but then the, the murder weapon melts. It melts. No, and I've done it. No fingerprints That's a real thing. No, I've that's, done that's it. for real, because look, here's a murder weapon. Gone. It's gone. Oh, it's still there. But it's it'll be gone. It's gone, so... And then the evidence goes into the ground. what about that one? That someone's going to come out and get freaking killed. Oh my I know, God, let's knock that like, down. Right I love icicles. Oh! oh! We got Here's it. a grand finale. And knock the electrical off. Yeah! Okay. Uh, oh! We'll touch the power line in here. Here, here. Uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> 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 and obviously when I'm doing all these crazy things, whether it's building BHB or the Reptarium or the Tipster, whatever it is, uh, Lori has to actually be supportive of me, right? You know, I know oftentimes I make the vlog seem like Lori is uh, always upset and she's against everything I do. And <laughs> she's always mad, because it's kind of fun to, to make her see. And she, she can be mean, I'm not gonna lie. But the fact is, is that really without her, I couldn't have done any of this, you know? And, and you've been pretty oh. supportive. Huh. See, and you've been pretty like supportive, in particular with the Reptarium, you've been really on it, right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, are you excited about this expansion or are you kind of like not sure? Uh, I would say I'm excited and nervous. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just like anything, it's a whole nother adventure. Yeah. So hopefully we get everything figured out right and it goes smooth, right? Yeah, I know, it's, it really is. But I, I just want to always know that it's important to have, what do they say, behind every great man is a better woman or something like that? Is that, is that something, something like that? I don't know. I said that just so I get brownie points so I can get that sloth, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so the sloth is next, right? After the reptarium. Uh, yeah, it's, there's a pin in that one. A pin in that one. So anyways, but I do think it's important to have someone that's there to support you through stuff like that. So although I may get a lot of the credit for the things, really Lori and, and really everyone that's around me, my crew and everything, are the ones that help me get to where I want to be. 
Now I know when you guys see me vlogging over at the new place, you see a bunch of junk and a bunch of nastiness. The truth is I already see it done, right? I already see the vision of everything being done. Now will it change? Of course it probably will change. What it will actually turn out to be to what I see in my head now will probably change a bit, but I think overall it's about the same. But the fact is, is that once we expand, we probably have to double our work crew, true, because we're gonna have more animals. Obviously when we're open, we're gonna need instead of four people working, we're gonna need eight people working. We're gonna have to have a snake massage therapist. We're gonna have to have someone to man the fish thing, the gift store. I mean, there's a lot more that's going into us. And yes, I'm taking a risk. I really have, from a business standpoint, I was doing well at the Reptarium. I mean, a lot of times people say, just stay where you're at, you're doing fine. But to me, it's about pushing that envelope and doing something that I'm really excited about. But let's talk about the fact that I'm gonna be doubling basically everything, my expenses and investment. How am I gonna make that back or am I just gonna make less money? I'm trying to be as transparent as I can with you guys because I want to take you guys on the, the journey. I feel like you guys are such a part of everything that I do. The Reptarium, BHB, YouTube, social, all the things. Without you guys, I can't do this stuff. So the truth is, is that I don't want to double my expenses and bring the same amount of people through the door because it doesn't really make sense. Could the experience be a little bit better? Yeah, and is that worth it to some extent? 100%. But I really only have four options to actually make that revenue back up, not only to cover the double expenses, but also to eventually, hopefully, recuperate the investment I'm making. And the four things are snake massage. Now again, you guys might, what is snake massage? Snake massage is basically where you're gonna have a massage therapist type of person. You're gonna lay down and they're gonna let snakes kind of crawl on you. First you do your body, then maybe a little bit of your face and head. You turn over, you do your back. It's kind of a cool little gimmicky thing that I think is just fun. I wanna do it, I think it's really cool. Started in Cambodia, there's some in Israel now, I think in Japan, and there's actually even one or two in New York now. So we're gonna do it here. That's an opportunity to create revenue, right? We also have this fish spot. You know, it's gonna be like a 15 minute experience, maybe 20 bucks, something like that. So if we can have a lot of people do the fish spot where you put your feet in, get it eaten by fish, you know, that's an opportunity to generate money, right? We also have the fact that we can do birthday parties now during open hours, as well as while we're still doing a tour so we can double up our income on that side. The only other thing we have that can generate income is either gifts or extra feedings, right? Those are the drivers that are gonna hopefully offset the cost of the increased overhead and investment into it. I think it's worth it. Is it a good business decision? Maybe not, but I don't care because I think it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Over here at the Reptarium, I mean, this is kind of like home for me, right? This is my comfort zone. I remember standing in this very spot a year and a half ago and looking over here and envisioning what we actually see now. And here I am, now it's here. I mean, it's been an unbelievable journey. And I realize this isn't a normal vlog, I get it. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of a thing where I'm sharing my kind of journey because I really wanna take you guys on this entire journey to see how it ends up turning out. And I wanna know if you guys are okay with it and we're not maybe showing as many animals in this vlog, but the fact is is that things have worked out way better here at the Reptarium than I could have ever imagined, which has afforded me the opportunity to take the risk to do it again. Now, I hope I won't think it's a mistake in the future, but I don't really think that way. I kind of think like it's gonna be a great experience and even if financially from a business standpoint, it doesn't work out the way I think it's gonna work out, I know from a life experience standpoint, it's gonna be absolutely incredible. All right guys, if you won the lottery, won the lottery. but not, oh, like wow. a, not like like 100 million, like a couple million, right? Couple million. So you have, a, you have a bunch of money, but you're probably gonna need to make money. What are you gonna do? Are you? I mean, you gotta turn it into a business. What yeah, business? Yeah, you what have? business? Dude. Got a killer idea. Okay. Rent to own fake plants and bathtubs. You rent to own them. That's fake plants. if anyone wants to go in with me. Fake plants and, and bathtubs. bathtubs. You could rent to own a bathtub. You rent it. You you own it. Okay. <laughs> and a fake plant. And fake plants. Hell, they're expensive. A couple hundred bucks. So you you come in, I finance you. Make a small payment. How much are you putting down? Twenty-five down. Twenty-five dollars down, and you get That's a bathtub right. and a fake plant. Just a fake plant. The bathtub. Oh. We'll have to talk about it. How much do you think for a bathtub? Hundred bucks, dude. Hundred bucks. You will drive away for a hundred bucks in a bathtub. Wow. What happened? Maybe I mean, that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. No, because you know then you can't do? resell them. 
I think you two should do it together. Hell no. Do <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> you can uh, do that one on your own. I think I would buy in on FaZe Clan. Ooh. I would get part ownership of FaZe Clan. That's actually a good idea. You'd be like, you'd like still have some money. It's like left. a football team, but it's for video games. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Is that how that works? Smart. Yeah, right. pretty the rapper much. just bought it, right? Yeah, exactly. So I get a little share of that, and then that's actually a good idea. I'm, e-sports that's is actually big. smart. E-sports that's smart. pretty smart. And then I'd still have like a mill or so, because I, I wouldn't want to put it all into that, just a little bit. And then with that million, I would just buy a bunch of fun stuff. Right. Would you invest in in the bathtub and no plant? I mean, I'll give you, I'll let you in right now if you want. No. Big business. I don't think tubs. Okay, that, uh, Mark guys, just uh, yo, comment down below. I'll give you Air, Eric's uh, cell phone. You can text him. Jacuzzi tubs. Yep, the ones with the right. little. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the number on the screen. You can text him any day, day and night, and he will yep. hand deliver uh, fake plants and. Jacuzzi I already got tubs. a jingle. I already got a jingle. Come to Eric's bathtub and Oreo. We're bathtubs and friendship. Hand in hand. <laughs> so whether it's over here at BHB or over here at the Reptarium, you know, these are my comfort zones. This is where my home is and where I live, but it's time to step out of our comfort zone and get into the new project. And I want to take you guys along on that journey. I truly hope that you enjoyed it and that we're going to together have an amazing experience. And I think that the destruction or construction starts next week. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and let's hope this is going to be absolutely an incredible journey with a great destination as for now I'm gonna go ahead and end it and tell you guys to go over here and watch some more animal videos if you don't mind over here there's an entire playlist if you want to just roll through some content for me over here please click on that subscribe button while you're there can you please turn the post notifications I remember to have an absolutely wonderful day be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow